Hi, I'm Crocodile Joe. Welcome to Crocodile Joe's Wild World. I'm going to be showing you today some, some top tips on how to feed your snake. Feeding tongs, dry towels, feeding box, lukewarm water, and of course, your prey. This is a frozen mouse. Now, what you've got to do with a frozen mouse is put it into the water. You put it into the lukewarm water. Leave it for roughly about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Let it get nice and warm. Now it's pretty important that you don't use really hot water because the mouse will explode and it's not a, it's not a pretty sight. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for the mouse to defrost, let's prepare our feeding box. Cool. First of all, what I'm gonna do is put some paper towels in the bottom of it. Okay. So it could take quite a while for the snake to actually eat it. Taking your snake out. It's pretty important that you feed the snake in a separate box because you wouldn't want the snake to be thinking that your hand is food. It'll go into a feeding mode and you know you won't want any accidents to happen. Okay, so once your mouse is defrosted, get your paper towels and dry it. Dry it off. You don't want to scare your snake by water being dripped on it. So make sure it's all dried off. Nice and neat. Now, this is really important. Just undo one side. If you notice a snake, it's, it's flicking its tongue out, it's tasting the air. That's because it can actually smell the mouse. You can't smell the mouse, but yet the snake can. The snake can. Now, what you don't want to do, you don't want to take the lid off fully. So just open it up a tiny bit and then put your, put your mouse in. Watch, watch. Boom, rattle. Look at that. Bingo. There you go. And then secure your lid nice and tight. And just leave him be. Just let him eat his food in peace. As an extra thing as well, I always like to keep a feeding log on my all my snakes. Now, this is a corn snake, so corn, snake, eaten, the date today, one times large mouse. Okay, that'll take roughly, it'll take roughly about a week for it to digest. You know, it's pretty important that you don't really handle your snake within that period of time, because the snake can regurgitate the mouse that you've just fed it. Just leave them be, let them alone, you know, and then let them get all the nutrients and then it can get big and strong. Okay, so once your snake has eaten, it's time to put them back in his reptarium. Now, obviously he's still in feeding mode, so I need to create a barrier between his head and my hand. Once, once I start taking him out, be very, very gentle, be very gentle with him. Okay, be really gentle. And then, what he needs to do, just pop him back in, nice and gentle. There he goes, there he is. Go make sure your lock's in. All right, and then I'd just leave him. I'd just leave him to it. I want to handle him for a week, let him relax. Let him chill out. Every two weeks, that's when he gets fed. For further tips, go on to crocodilejoes.com.